I spoke with Krista. I'm beyond disappointed in you. I'm sorry, Xavier. It just didn't seem right. Right? Look around you, Eric. We can't be bogged down by our previous definitions of right and wrong. This is about survival. I thought you understood what was at stake. I, I do. Fortunately for you, I'm giving you another chance. I want you to join our next merging ceremony. Your next merging ceremony? Creating love through physical intimacy is something Radcliffe believes strengthens our defenses against the withering. But it's not enough love to protect us all. Then why are you asking me to... To truly become part of this community, really protected, you must share yourself with the entire Foundation. What do you mean? Even before the withering started in Hope's Junction, high-level members of the Foundation harnessed every defense against the Blight, including physical intimacy. Why am I just hearing about this? It's kept hidden from newer members. Has Rachel... Did she? I know it may seem bizarre to think about, but it's a practice that goes back hundreds of years. Through the merging ceremony, we see the spiritual benefit of communal intimacy. And so will you. Because I want you to be the center of the ceremony. The Seder. Seder? Fully submitting yourself to the ceremony offers clarity and enlightenment. I've never seen the world better than after serving as the Seder. It might bring you the insight you need to find your daughter. I don't know. All I want to do is make you a part of this community. Give you a sense of belonging. But all you do is rebuke me. Eric, do you really want to be a member of the Foundation? Of course I do. Then I will see you at the ceremony. I wasn't sure if you were coming. You always wanted to know what happened that day. Now it's time to find out. Ava, listen to me. I don't want you to put yourself in danger. Let me protect you. I already told you, Papa. I don't need to be protected. People need to be protected from me. I... I know. Then why did you give me the gun again? Because I always give you the gun. No turning back now. Ava, wait! No! Don't hurt her! Ava's been gone for 15 years. No. She was here. I... I protected her this time. Why? Why shoot? He had a gun. He was threatening everyone at the memorial for his own daughter's shooting. You people! You pushed him to this! Always ostracizing him and his family! But this? There's no excuse for this. Someone call an ambulance! She... She was...
Are you coming? I don't want to be alone. I'm coming, Faith. Okay, you can sleep with me for tonight. I'll keep you safe. I'll keep you safe too, Mommy. We can protect each other. Tell me a story. Once upon a time, there was a little girl named Faith, whose mommy loved her very much. But one day, mommy couldn't find Faith and was really scared. So she did everything she could to find her. She searched high and low, anything she could do to get her sweet little girl back. Mommy? What were you doing? What's wrong with you? You were having a bad dream. I wanted to cut the bad dreams out. I'm sorry, Mommy. I didn't mean to scare you. Please don't leave me alone. 